हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सुरेश अग्रवाल्स मैथमेटिक्स शॉर्टकट्स लेक्चर नंबर 15 ऑफ द सीरीज ऑफ वीडियोस फॉर माय जूनियर स्टूडेंट्स द क्लास 6 स्टूडेंट्स एंड फॉर ऑल दोस हु आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर कंपटीशन कंपटीटिव एग्जाम्स स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम द स्क्रैप दैट इज स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम द वेरी बेसिक कांसेप्ट्स दिस वीडियो कंसर्न्स सम प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ एलसीएम यू ऑल नो दैट एलसीएम इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक एंड यू मस्ट बी अवेयर अबाउट सम वेरी बेसिक थिंग्स which will enable you to find the lcm within no time you observe the numbers and tell the lcm understanding works wonders if you start understanding a concept then things are going to be really really easy for you so this is lecture number 15 of class 6 maths syllabus we have launched so many best offers on the ebook of short tricks summer vacation is coming up and we all will be trying to upskill ourselves by uh, you know enrolling in some activities so you can study the ebook of short tricks 350 short tricks to calculate 10 times faster that's what this ebook provides and it comes with video support so that when you get stuck anywhere you click the link and watch the video likewise the reasoning course develop the reasoning ability right from the basic level and cbse practice worksheets we have been working so hard on Uh, you know bringing out these cbsc practice worksheets exclusive collection of questions not found anywhere on the internet or in the print form whatsapp 9896369963 for getting a copy or visit www.sureshagarwal.in to see what uploads we have done on the website and for this special video of lcm i have made a 60 question practice pdf a practice worksheet which you can download from the link given in the description box below let's see the questions in hand for this video find the lcm of the following numbers using the prime factorization so we have four numbers here 8 20 32 and 48 let's make prime factors of these four numbers and then we will get to our answer we all know that 8 is 2 cube 20 is 2 square 4 times 5 that's 20 32 is 2 raised to power 5 and 48 is 2 times 2 4 4 times 2 8 8 times 2 16 so that's 2 raised to power 4 times 3 now for finding the lcm of these four numbers we just take the highest power of the common factors so 2 is a common factor and the highest power is 2 raised to power 5 and all the uncommon factors like 5 here and 3 here they will also form a part of the lcm so you see 2 raised to power 5 is 32 and 5 3 is 15 that gives you 480 as the lcm of 8 20 32 and 48 likewise if you have another example where you have the numbers 25 40 60 and 120 you know again understanding is going to work here see 40 is a number which divides 120 so even if you eliminate 40 the lcm is not going to change again 60 60 is a number which divides 120 so if you eliminate 60 also the numbers you know the lcm of these numbers is not going to change so it's only about 25 and 120 so if you find the lcm of 25 and 120 you are actually finding the lcm of 25 40 60 and 120 and 25 is 5 5 square and 120 is 2 times 2 is 4 and then we have another 2 and then 15 right 15 8 8 times is 120 so 2 cube into 15 that's 3 into 5 so if you see the lcm now the common factors 5 square and 5 the higher power is 5 square and the uncommon factors 2 cube and 3 they will also form a part of this so what's the answer this is 25 and this is 24 and therefore the lcm of this question is 600 so i have eliminated 40 and 60 i got to my answer you can check whether it works for all numbers let's see the next question find the greatest number of two digits exactly divisible by 8 and 14 now see whenever you are finding a number which is divisible by two given numbers divisible by something that means the number is greater than 8 and 14 and therefore the use of 
LCM. You know, that's what we need to do. Let's find the LCM of 8 and 14 first. How do you find that? 8 is 2 cube and 14 is 2 times 7. So what's the LCM? The higher power is 2 cube and the uncommon factor is 7. So this is 8 times 7 which is 56. Now, 56 is the number which is the smallest number which is divisible by 8 and 14. This LCM, 56, right? So, if you take multiples of 60, 56, they will all be divisible by 8 and 14. But even the second multiple of 56 is 112, which is a three-digit number. But he is asking us to find the greatest number of two digits. And therefore, 56 itself is the correct answer of this question. You will understand that in a better way when I do the next question. What's this? 8, 10 and 12. Now the same question, but we need to find the greatest number of three digits now. So for 8, this is 2 raised to power 3. For 10, this is 2 times 5. And for 12, this is 2 square times 3. Okay. Now what is the LCM? LCM is, for the common factors, you have 2 raised to power 3. And for the uncommon factors, you have 5 and 3. So 8 times 15, the LCM is 120. Now, 120 is the smallest three-digit number which is exactly divisible by 8, 10 and 12. So, which is the largest one? 120 is the first one. Keep on taking the multiples of 120. 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, 72, 84, 96. And if you go beyond 96, you are going to enter into a four-digit number now. And therefore, 960 is the greatest three-digit number which is exactly divisible by 8, 10 and 12. I hope the method works well for you now. And you must have understood how to solve these type of questions easily and comfortably. Let's see one more question. Now, this is a statement problem based on LCM. Along the roadside, road Ashoka trees are planted on one side and eucalyptus trees are planted on the other side. So there's a, a roadway like this. On one side, we are planting the Ashoka trees like this. And on the other side, we are planting the eucalyptus trees like this. Fine. Starting from the same place. So we are starting from the same place. The plantation is starting from the same place. Ashoka trees are planted at intervals of 32 meters. 32 meters. So the distance between each Ashoka tree is, uh, consecutive Ashoka trees is 32 meters. And the eucalyptus trees, the consecutive eucalyptus trees have a difference of 60 meters between them. At what distance would they stand together? Now, obviously, see, the second Ashoka tree, the first Ashoka tree is at the same place uh, as that of eucalyptus tree. But as you proceed further, the Ashoka tree and the eucalyptus trees are planted at different distances because it's 32 meters and 60 meters. And therefore, you have to find at what distance from the starting point will they be planted together again? That means at the same place. And that means you have to proceed much more away from 32 and 60. So you have to increase that distance, right? And therefore, it's a problem of LCM. So the, your answer is actually the LCM of 32 and 60. How do you find that? That's elementary, right? 32 is 2 raised to power 5. And 60 is 2 times 30, 2 times, okay, 4 times 15, that's 2 square times 15, 3 times 5. So what is the LCM? LCM is the higher power of 2 and the uncommon factors, which is 32 times 15, and that's exactly 480 meters. And therefore, after 480 meters, you will find that the two trees are planted in the same row in the same place adjacent to each other after 480 meters this is how the knowledge of the application of the lcm works wonders for you and a very very important video for all those who are preparing for competitive exams i tell you these problems of lcm are most prevalent in uh, ssc cgl 
CAT exam, placement exams, railways, banking, Olympiads, and TSC, we are not. You, you find everywhere these type of problems of LCM. So friends, I hope you have learned something new today and this video will prove beneficial to you also along with all the school children studying in class 6. This is the 15th video. You can see the playlist and you can get benefit. You can watch them in order and I'm sure you are going to learn every concept. Do download the PDFs, the worksheets. Because if you only watch the video, it's only half done. The practice part will be lacking. So download the video from the link given in the description box below. And I'm sure that's going to prove very, very beneficial. So friends, if you like this video, do share it with all the class 6 students and all those who are aspiring to clear government competitive exams. Do subscribe the channel. And very important to click the bell-shaped icon so that you keep on getting all the notifications when I come live or when I... Uh, you know, uh, upload any video relevant to you. Thanks for watching this video and all the best for your practice.